Eivor, I'm pleased you came. Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Alfgar, it's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You're flush with land and crops, to be sure. You're a brave man to flaunt your riches from this lonely hill. It's not bravery, it's trust. I trust the respect I've earned keeps Saxon and Dane alike from temptation. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Uh, yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. This has the feeling of a bribe, Elfgar. Are you trying to win my favor for some reason? Bribe you? Heavens no. This is a simple gift of thanks. For solving the mystery of Hunbiort's disappearance. Now, now, take it and come, Heather. I have a rousing hunt plan for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shire moats. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, Eivor, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear. Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is all but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blunt as a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your, uh, uh, your thunder god. Uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. What I mean to say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herofriv and Unwald say. You Danes are damn decent people. Not dense at all. Kind of you to notice. I remember when the Danes first arrived. Not long ago. The locals were terrified. Are we hunting, Elgar? Or is it your hope that I'll braid your hair? Hunting, definitely. The bear's lair should be nearby. My old friend Grimm. How wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes. And how is Grimsby? How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well. And itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right. Very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other as one Dane to another. It is good to meet you, Grim. Hey, Leivor. Did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear. That's the point of all this. We're hunting. I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgar claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land of my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry.
This is the threshold of a beast's home. There's no doubting that. Oh, that's not a bear. Wolves. Soon to be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough and I can't tell you how to handle this, but please! By God, help me with this! I'm in this fight with you! A clutch of puny Mercians don't frighten me! Men who would see you burn are dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Algar. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! The Shyamon will start soon. I should return to him. Away, beast! Away! Elga, careful! The Shyamon will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. There, you see? Didn't I promise you a rousing hunt? Brilliant! Simply brilliant! The shot. The Shyamon will start soon. I should return to Lincoln to see that it goes well. This looks like the shrine she told me about.
looking pretty.
feel great.
In these old worlds, I used to lie down and pray that the leaves would cover me. That I could drag them over me like a blanket and join Chernunos in a bed of leaves. Took me in, stranger, with a song. The sound of Odin stumping on your bones is the only song you'll hear.
Your baby is coming. Where is the nearest healer? I'll take you. No need for a healer, love. Just get to the top of that hill. I can do the rest. What? All the way to the top? And you intend to go alone in your state? Yes! Ah! Oh, roll my fat corpse up this hill if need be! It's too far to carry you like this without hurting your babe. I shall have to take you by horse. Ah, you need not help me, but... Who am I to look a gift Dane in the mouth? It's dishonorable to leave a pregnant woman to the elements. Why does the baby's father not come to you? The baby's father is a god. Mockers of the wood saw me on solstice and wooed me with his song. You laid down with a god. Aye, oh, is that so shocking? Mary grew Christ from the touch of God. I heard of a Dane god who laid down with a horse. Loki. He was also a horse at the time. You didn't get mounted by a horse god, did you? No, it was very much a man. A godly man, definitely not a mortal. But I didn't see him by light of day, so who knows? We made it to the shrine. Do you think the otherworldly father will be able to find us? I wasn't impregnated by a god, just an ordinary man as bored as me. Doubt we want anything to do with this child. I see. Then we shall focus on the child instead. Breathe deeply and try to relax. This will take time. I will build a tent. You did a great job. A healthy baby girl. Just hear that cry. Warrior's lungs. <sighs> a girl? I have no knowledge of warriors or what to name them. How about your name, then? Little Eivor. Ermina, I've been looking everywhere. Brand told me you'd run off and I worried the worst. <gasps> is that... Is that... This is your god lover. I expected more. God lover? Should I take that as a compliment on my prowess or an insult to my name? Go, Marcus. Our families would never approve the Union. And if you're to have any reputation, you will forget me. I think I get to stay in that. I care not about status. And if all we have together is some hut in the woods, then so be it. A hut in the woods does sound fit for a witch and her babe. Hey! What's going on? Last time.
Describe it for me, Sigurd. Valhalla. My father says the walls will drip me, your fingers will sing, and your feet will grow wings. Jewels will fall from the mouths of wolves, butter jumps from barrel to bread. And the mud smells of lavender. I heard that once. Yes, and when your eyes command rain, it pours hot drops. Your smile craves sun, the clouds part like curtains. Bloody. Shiny, unbreakable Valhalla. One day our slaughter reeds will guide us there, my Eivor. And my father will not be with us. That much I know for truth.
accustomed to man and folly to fall. Curious child of his. I am Brendan of Ireland, and through light and voice have these stones spoken to me. Here lies the markings of him, where a second voice, higher than most, spoke to me again. Listen to all I have learned through prayer. Long ago was a great and tragic war. The offspring of gods who lived before the deluge. I pray for these rebel angels who came. 